Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Falling for Books. For today's video I have my Christmas slash Boxing Day book haul. You guys this haul is massive but I've been promising this haul probably since September so it is here. It's a massive haul. I'm excited. Let's just get into it because there are so many books. I can't believe this is happening. I have books I got before Christmas. I have books I got for Christmas. And then I have some Boxing Day books, some I got from Indigo. Then I got a big box from Book Outlet. So let's just get into the video. So I'm going to start with the books I got before Christmas. The first one is Roomies by Christina Lauren. This is their newest release. It's a romance. I read it. I talked about it in my December wrap-up. Then I ordered two books from... Book Depository and it was my first time ordering from them so I wasn't really sure I knew that like the shipping would take a while which I was like totally understandable with however I made a mistake in this order um, so I'll show you guys the first book that I got that was correct uh, that is The Secret History by Donna Tartt this is the 25th anniversary edition I think uh, I just love this book so I obviously needed two copies Duh. Um, I really love this cover. It's just so pretty and simple and yeah so now I have two copies of this one and I was going to get a second copy of another book which I did get but I ordered the wrong one so on book depository there's two pictures of this specific book and so I didn't really know which one to order and I think it was my fault because I didn't really read the description of what like the publishing company was and all that kind of stuff so I ended up getting a second copy of The Hating Game. I didn't want this cover, I wanted this cover, but this cover turned out to be this cover. I was very confused. I emailed the book depository because I was like, your picture on your website is wrong. Like, I don't know if I just, like, it's wrong, it's not the same cover. So did I, like, is it just misleading on your website? Like, I don't know. So don't order this one because you'll just get this one. Um, so yeah, I just basically have an extra copy of The Hating Game. I already have this edition, so right here. I don't know, there's not much I can do about it. Um, I'm there's It's not worth me returning it, so I think it's too late now anyways. But whatever, so I'm just either going to give this to a friend or um, resell it or something. I don't know. Whatever. Now the books I got for Christmas. So my parents got me a couple books. Uh, the first one is Claimed by L. Kennedy. I love L. Kennedy and I've been wanting to read more of her books so I decided that I wanted this one so my parents got it for me. I also got Until It Fades by Katie Tucker. This I think is about a woman who um, saves a hockey player's life or something. I don't know but uh, I've been wanting to read Katie Tucker's books so uh, I finally have one. That I can read. I got When It's Real by Erin Watts. Uh, I've already read this book and loved it so I wanted my own physical copy. Super happy to have this and yeah I just love the cover and I can't wait to reread it at some point. Then I got The Bourbon Thief by Tiffany Fries. I never know how to pronounce her name. Um, I've never read any books by Tiffany but I've heard amazing things about the Siren series. I think that's what it's called. Uh, and I've just heard amazing things about her books in general so I decided to ask for one for Christmas so I got one. My parents also got me Most of All You by Mia Sheridan which I have also been meaning to read her books and so I wanted this one first and yeah I'm excited. I've heard great things about this specific book so I'm excited. I pre-filmed my reading goals and reading review video so I talked about this not this specific book but I talked about this goal for 2018 in that video so I will link that video down below when it's up <laughs> um, but I got Twilight in French um, I talked about how I wanted to read a book in French for 2018 and since I've already read Twilight in English I thought why not read it in French so uh, my parents got me this, which I'm super excited. It has red pages. I'm really excited to read this in French. I feel like I'm losing my French a little bit, so I feel like reading something in French will help me 
pick it back up a little bit more. My parents also kind of got me two like DVD things. The first thing is Fifty Shades Darker, which I don't own on DVD. I just own it on iTunes. So I was like, this is a great gift to get me. They put this on Amazon. And then same with Ghost Whisper, the complete series, which I talked about this in like my favorite TV shows of all time. And I finally have all five seasons so I can um, marathon it and maybe possibly do a video on it in the future. Mm -hmm. So those were all the books that I got for Christmas from my parents. And now I just have Boxing Day books. So I'm going to start with the books I got in store from Indigo. And online they didn't really have any sales in store. They had 30% off all hardbacks. And then the mystery and romance section were all 30% off too, which I did not know going into the store. So I didn't really buy any romance books because I was just like shocked that romance books were 30% off. And I would have probably went crazy and that was not a good idea. So I only bought one romance book. I bought four hardbacks, I think. The first one is One of Us is Lying by Carrie and McManus. I've been wanting to read this since it came out. I'm just super excited to read this because I've heard good things and I love a young adult mystery so I am super excited. Then I have War Cross by Marie Lu. This is her obviously newest book um, which is the duology and I didn't really like the Young Elites trilogy by her. I think I only read book one and book two and never continued but I still wanted to give her book a shot because I feel like I might like this. I love the cover though, like so pretty. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of excited. I want to give it a shot. Oh my god, I love that blue. Yes. Then I got Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. Probably butchering that, I'm so sorry. I love flowers. Flowers are like my favorite thing in the entire world other than books. So I feel like I might like this book. I don't know, I'm really hoping I do. I kind of have an love-hate relationship with magical realism and I've read her other book The Weight of the Feathers and that one I gave like three stars but I'm hopeful for this one so yeah. Uh, then I bought Everything Beautiful Is Not Ruined by Danielle Young Ullman. Uh, this I've also heard amazing things about. I think it won a book award for something. I can't remember but I've heard amazing things about this and I figured Boxing Day was a great um, day to get it on so I did, can't wait to read it. And then the last book I got in the Boxing Day sale at Indigo was Man Whore Plus One by Katie Evans. I have the first book, love the first book, love the second book, didn't have it in um, a physical copy so I figured it was 30% off, I'd go ahead and get it. Like I could not leave the bookstore without getting at least one romance book so I did it and can you believe that this is regular $21 Canadian? $21 Canadian. I remember when paperbacks were like $15. It's not a thing anymore. So when it was on sale for 30% off, I paid like $15. So I was like, yes, we're doing that. Uh, I'm finally happy to have the duology now. All right, if I'm going too fast, I'm really sorry. There's just so many books. I feel like I can't really talk about each book. But the next one I got, I pre-ordered some books from Indigo and usually when you pre-order books you have to order books that are already out so that the books come on the date they're released. It's really complicated and stupid, whatever. Um, so I got Summer of Supernovas by Darcy Woods. This was only $6 for the hardback so I was like this is a great deal, let me get it. Um, this is a YA contemporary about a girl who like truly believes in like astrology stuff so I'm excited. Then I have one package from Indigo that came this morning. I figured I would unbox it on camera so I don't know what book this is because I ordered like two separate books. Oh now they're giving out receipts. That's so unlike them. They never do that anymore. Hey so I got um, Off the Ice by Julie Cross. You guys know I'm a big sucker for hockey romances, so this is a YA one from Untangled Teen. So I figured I'd get it. It's like the smooth book that is so nice. Anyways, I'm excited to read this. I've heard good things about this as well, so uh, I'm super excited. 
And here we go with the big book outlet order. I cannot talk now. Oh my gosh. I kind of forget what I ordered, so whatever. Um, I ordered like 15 books though, so that I remember. That literally says my dress on there. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. It's so massive. Stupid paper. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm just gonna grab and go, I guess, because there's so much in here. So the first book is Dark Prince by Christine Feehan. I've talked about this in five authors I need to read. And uh, this is like a paranormal romance, urban fantasy. And I've kind of wanted to start a new series, like a new urban fantasy series, so I thought I would go with this one, even though I'm not even done, like Cressley Cole's one or J.R. Ward's, but I was like, let's just start something new. I got Close to You by Kristen Proby, which I've read before and loved, so I grabbed my own copy. Um, yeah, this is a great romance book, so um, it was cheap, and I eventually want to get the whole series, so I grabbed it. Then I have On the Edge by Allison Van Dypen. Um, I have seen this around a lot, and I am very curious. It is supposed to be like a suspense, romance, YA thing. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to love it, so. Then I have don't know how to say this you guys. Scepter? I don't think so. This is by J.M. Darhower? Darhower. I should research things before I talk about things. Uh, this is like big. I did not think that. Uh, I believe this is a romance book. I think it has, it's a dark romance. I think there's like mafia stuff in here and uh, I figured I would go ahead and grab it because I have been recommended this book many times. It's gonna happen. Then I have The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. I've heard amazing things about this. I'm sure you all have heard similar things. So I'm excited to read this. Then I finally have Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shannon McGuire. This is book two in the um, Wayward Children, I think. Yeah, we were children series. Uh, loved the first book. Finally have the second one. I can finally read this. I just didn't really justify paying like $24 for this, so I waited. I have Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett, which this I've also been wanting forever, and I finally have it. I'm super excited. I've heard good things about this book, so I'm so stoked to read this contemporary. I have Surviving Ice by K.A. E. Tucker. This, I think, is a long series. The Ten Tiny Breath series, I think. Um, this is the only one they had on Book Outlet, so I just went ahead and grabbed it because I feel like I'm going to like this regardless. So I feel like I'm really going to love K.A. E. Tucker's books, so I'm just kind of collecting them. Which is probably kind of bad, but, you know. Then I have Looking Inside by Beth. Curry. This is a romance book. I don't really know much about it, but I believe it's about a billionaire or something. I don't know. Why not? I think I also talked this talked about this in an um, releases video, so I mean, I talked about it at some point. <laughs> then I have A Season for Fireflies by Rebecca Maisel. I read Between Us and the Moon and absolutely loved it. I gave it like five out of five stars. So I want to read another contemporary of hers, and I think this came out last year, or like 2016, I mean. Um, I don't know what year it is anymore. Um, so yeah, I am excited to read this. Okay, this is massive, since when? Okay, this is uh, Vampire Academy, the 10th anniversary edition. I wanted to get this as soon as it came out, but I held myself back, and it was on Book Outlet, and I was like, there's no one stopping me now. So yeah, I finally have the 10th anniversary edition. I believe this has like extra content and whatnot. I don't know when I'll reread this edition, but, or when I'll read this edition, but um, 
I'm just excited to have this because I love Vampire Academy and yay we're getting close you guys uh, then I have Hold Me Like a Breath by Tiffany Schmitz I think um, this is a young adult crime family thing I don't know I've heard mixed things about it but I feel like I might like it because I'm an easy pleased reader shocker so I figured why not I've been eyeing it for forever so I grabbed that then we have Ripped by Katie Evans which I have read it's been years since I've read it so I don't really remember much about it but I eventually want to collect all of Katie's books because I have read them all so I want to collect I want to collect physical copies can't talk and yeah I finally have this one as well second last book uh, he will be my ruin by Katie Tucker another book by her um, this I believe is like a suspense romance and I love me some suspense romance so I went ahead and grabbed it plus I love the blue on the cover yes please and the last book I got is from an author I haven't read yet I was looking to see if this is the same author and I believe it is uh, and that is the girl with a clock for a heart by Peter Swanson correct me if I'm wrong but he also wrote the kind worth killing right which I do own am I thinking of the same person anyways I love this cover first of all this is like one of my favorite covers ever it's just gripping I don't know what it is I think it's also the blue is so like pleasing I've heard good things about this book. I am just really excited. It's a thriller if I didn't tell you that already. So that is it out of this big box. And that is it for my big Christmas slash Boxing Day book haul. And there is so much. I, I, I don't have an explanation. <laughs> I hope this book haul was worth the wait since I had been promising it since like September. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm kind of losing my voice for talking for like 23 minutes straight, but that's all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know some books that you guys got for Christmas or that you got on Boxing Day or whatever. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media. Make sure to follow me on my bookstagram because I'm having a comeback on there. Make sure you follow my vlog channel because I am putting out a lot more vlogs and beauty related videos so please go check that out. The link is in the description and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!